नमस्कार दोस्तों मेरा आप मैं नितेश बिंदल चार्टर अकाउंटर आपका मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल लीगल चैप्टर्स में हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं आज हम डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं सोशल एडिटर का चैप्टर नंबर फाइव चैप्टर नंबर फाइव के अंदर सोशल ऑडिटिंग स्टोरी सोशल ऑडिटर्स के बारे में बताया गया है उसके कॉन्सेप्ट बताया गया है प्रिंसिपल बताया गया है कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट बताए गए कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सोशल ऑडिट के अंदर हम पढ़ेंगे इवोल्यूशन ऑफ सोशल ऑडिट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ एंटरप्राइजेज हैज प्रोग्रेसिव रेपिड इन द लास्ट फ्यू डिकेट्स रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बढ़ती जा रही कुछ लास्ट डिकेट्स के अंदर सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ एंटरप्राइजेस की देन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन परफॉर्मेंस इन रिलेशन टू द सोसाइटी इन विच इट ऑपरेट्स एंड इम्पैक्ट ऑन द इन्वायरमेंट हैज बिकम अ क्रिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ मेजिंग इट्स ओवरऑल परफॉर्मेंस एंड इट्स एबिलिटी टू कंटिन्यू ऑपरेटिंग इफेक्टिवली इन इंडिया द गांधी फिलोसफी ऑफ ट्रस्टीशिप कैप्चर द बिजनेस रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टूवर्ड्स सोसाइटी द फिलोसफी ऑफ गिविंग बैक टू द सोसाइटी हैज बिन ए इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द कल्चर which has also been embedded in traditional indian business since time immemorial responsible business conduct is a globally recognized concept founded on the idea that businesses can perform better when engaged in revitalization the society from which they extract resources for production ngrbc the national guidelines for responsible business conduct 2018 encourages business to contribute towards broader development goals by seeking to be economical viable development of sustainability responsive standard like global responsive initiative iso 26000 guidance on social responsibility principle on social responsibility sustainability accounting standard board have contributed towards significantly to our understanding of social responsibility India is a signatory of global initiative like Sustainable Development Goals adopted by United Nations in 2015. These global initiatives address universal social development issue and call to action to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure that by 2030 all people enjoy peace and prosperity. With this sharp focus on the social impact of businesses, standard frameworks and guidance on the social auditing have become essential requirements monitoring missing and reporting the social performance of enterprises has emerged as a regulatory requirement based on the guidance in ngrbc business responsibility and sustainability double reporting is a compliance requirement for the top 1000 companies in india the fact that ngrbc is detailed with the united nation guiding principles on businesses and human rights makes the bsr BRSR disclosure is globally relevant in India the concept of monitoring and evaluation of social responsibility activity and performance audit of flagship social development programs has been active for national social development initiative like NRHM sab shiksha abhiyan padhan mantri gram sadak yojana mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act was launched in 2006 it is packed as a most ambitious anti poverty program which guarantees 100 days of unskilled man labor for labor for adult members in rural households gram sabha is expected to monitor the nrega and conduct social audit of all nrega projects implemented in gram panchayats with the introduction of the companies amendment rule 2030 20 2020 social impact assessment come into the purview of the compliance कम इंटू द इंटर प्रभाव जो है विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंपनी सोशल इम्पैक्ट असेसमेंट कम इंटू द प्रोव्यू ऑफ कंप्लेन इन द सेड रूल्स रूल नंबर एट आफ्टर सब रूल टू फॉलोइंग सब रूल्स इज इंसर्टेड नेमली ए कंपनी हैविंग द ऑब्लिगेशन ऑफ स्पेंडिंग एवरेज सी एस आर अमाउंटिंग ऑफ रूल फाइव फोर ऑफ मोर इन द थ्री इमीजिएटली प्रोसीडिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर इन परसेंस ऑफ सब सेक्शन फाइव ऑफ वन थर्टी फाइव ऑफ द एक्ट सेल अंडरटेक इम्पैक्ट असेसमेंट फॉर जस्ट सी एस आर प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ प्रोग्राम and shall disclose detail of the same in annual reports on csr with the forthcoming launch of the social stock exchange social audit has matured with well defined deliveries for the first time the development of social audit standard by the ici has been defined the required social audit procedure for 16 thematic area of social development definition for social audit there are many definition for social audit which are emerging some of the more acceptable one are listed below social audit is the process of reviewing verifying the social accounts at the end of each accounting 
period. The term social audit is something used generically for the concept and for the whole process. A social audit is a formal review of company endeavors, procedure, code of conduct regarding social responsibility and company impact on society. A soci social audit assesses how well the company achieved its goal or social responsibility benchmarks. Now, Nrega defines the social audit as reviewing social official records and determining whether state reported expenditure reflect the actual money spent on the ground. Social auditing is a process that enables an organization to assess and demonstrate its social, economic and environmental benefits and limitation. It measures the extent to which an organization revert to the share values and objective it has committed. Social auditing assesses the impact of an organization's non-financial objective through systematically and regularly monitoring its performance and the views of its stakeholders. Social audit is an independent evaluation of the performance of an organization as it relates to the attainment of social goals. It is an instrument of social accountability of an organization. In other words, social audit may be defined as an in-depth scrutiny and analysis of the working of any public utility by services social relevance. The social audit process is intended as a means for social engagement, transparency, information communication leading to greater accountability of decision makers, representatives, managers and officials. The underlying ideas are directly linked to concept of democracy and participation. Social audit network UK defines social auditor as a person who chairs the social audit panel and manages the audit process at the end of each cycle, including the examination of the data and sample checking of the source, the audit trial and issuing the social audit statement. SEBI defines a social auditor as an individual registered with self-regulatory organization under the preview of ICAI. To be qualified as a social auditor, an individual must qualify for a certification program conducted by NISM and hold a valid certificate. Difference between the social auditor and financial audit. The distinguishing feature between the social audit and financial audit is given below. We are discussing the features of financial audit involves audit of a financial statement and transaction, covers non-financial matter like limited only to those aspects that provide additional information to stakeholders of the business who are mainly interested in the entity financial status. Financial audits are done keeping in mind the objective of issuing an opinion on the state of financial affairs, deals mainly with the study of financial data. Social audit features looks at the impact caused on the society by the organization, takes on outside in approach of looking at the organization, dealing more with how the non-financial stakeholders with the business rather than how the managers, owners of the organization plans it to be. Deals with the study of social impact parameters, most of which can be gathered from outside the organization which is being audited. Involves the stakeholders of the enterprises and adopts a triple bottom line approach. In our financial statement, we difference the difference from the point to point discuss from the point of view stakeholders, from the point of view perspective, eligibility, aspects, competitive impact method indicators. First perspective has financial perspective only, has multiple perspective only. Stakeholders does not consider the larger ecosystem of stakeholders, concentrates on shareholders. Financial audit. Social auditors, social societal ecosystem is important. All stakeholders are important, including the shareholders, funders, and financiers. Aspects financial, economical, social, and environmental for social auditors. Comparative comparison with the firm to be audited and auditory. Within the organization, social auditor main focus within the organization plus other other standard standards plus other comparative organization. Impact only financial performance is the key metric. Social or impact, social audit, action, social audit impact, social performance as well as financial audit are all key metrics. Method standardized methods. Social audit method method vary as per the project and trust area of the organization. Indicators deals primarily with the quantitative indicators. Social order, both quantitative and qualitative indicators are important. 
ऑडिट का कंक्लूजन रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैटर ऑफ एंटरप्राइजेज और सोशल ऑडिटर का रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ सोशल इम्पैक्ट ऑफ एंटरप्राइजेज प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ऑडिटिंग क्या है ऑडिटिंग प्रिंसिपल हैव टू मेक द ऑडिट एन इफेक्टिव एंड रिलायबल टूल बाय प्रोवाइडिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन विच एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन एक्ट इन ऑर्डर टू इम्प्रूव इट्स परफॉर्मेंस एडेंस टू दिस प्रिंसिपल इज अ प्री रिक्वेस्ट फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग ऑडिट कंक्लूजन दैट आर रेलिवेंट एंड सफिशियंट एंड फॉर इनेबलिंग ऑडिटर्स वर्किंग इंडिपेंडेंटली फॉर वन अदर एन अदर टू रीच सिमिलर कंक्लूजन इन सिमिलर सर्कमस्टांसिस द सेवन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द सोशल ऑडिटिंग आर आउटलाइन बिलो इंटीग्रिटी द फाउंडेशन ऑफ द प्रोफेशनिज्म ऑडिटर्स आर एंड द इंडिविजुअल्स मैनेजिंग एंड ऑडिट प्रोग्राम शोड परफॉर्म दियर वर्क इफ एथिकली विद ऑनेस्टी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी only undertake audit activities if competent to do so perform their work in an impartial manner remain fair and biased in all their dealings be sensitive to any influences that may be exerted on their judgment while carrying out an audit fair presentation the obligation to report truthfully and accurately audit finding audit conclusion audit report should reflect truthfully and accurately the audit activity <laughs> significant obstacles encountered during the audit and unresolved delivering diverging opinion between the audit team and the auditor should be <coughs> reported the communication should be truthful accurate objective timely clear and complete first integrity hai dus second fair presentation dus due, due professional care the application of diligence and judgment in auditing auditor should auditor should exercise due care in accordance with the importance of the task they perform and the confidence placed in them by audit client and the other interested parties an important factor in carrying out their work with due professional care is having the ability to make reasonable judgment in all audit situation fourth confidentiality security of information auditor should exercise discretion in the use and production of information acquired during the course of audit जनरली फाइनेंशियल ऑडिट में भी ये सब चीज़ हम यूज़ करते हैं वही सेम इसी में है ऑडिट इन्फॉर्मेशन शुड नॉट बी यूज इन अप्रोप्रेटली फॉर द पर्सनल गेन बाय द ऑडिटर और द ऑडिट क्लाइंट और इन अ मैनर डिटर्मिनेटेड टू द लजिट इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द ऑडिट द कॉन्सेप्ट इंक्लूड द प्रॉपर हैंडलिंग ऑफ सेंसिटिव और कॉन्फिडेंशियल इन्फॉर्मेशन इंडिपेंडेंस आप जानते हैं ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फॉर ऑन द बेसिस फॉर द इम्पार्शलिटी ऑफ द ऑडिट एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द ऑडिट कंक्लूजन Auditor should be independent of the activity being audited wherever practicable, and should in all cases act in a manner that is free from bias and conflict of interest. For internal auditor, auditor should be independent from the function being audited, if practicable. <coughs> auditor should maintain accountability throughout the audit process to ensure that the audit finding and conclusion are based only on the audit evidence. For a small organization, it may not be possible for internal audit to be. fully independent of the activity being audited but very every effort should be made to remove bias and increase objectivity evidence based approach the rational method for reaching reliable and report reproducible audit conclusion in a systematic audit process audit evidence should be verifiable must be verifiable but verify on the basis of sampling records available at the time of audit since an audit is conducted during a finite period of time and with the finite resources which are available at the time of audit an appropriate use of sampling should be applied It must be a sampling tackling since this is closely related to confidence that can be placed in the audit conclusions risk based approach an audit approach that consider risk and opportunity that must be standards of our and should be used the risk based approach should be substantially audit procedures influence on the planning conducting and reporting of audit in order to ensure that the audit are focus on the matters that are significant for the audit client and for achieving the audit program objective code of conduct must be prescribed by the ic code of conduct that are prescribed by the ici has developed social auditors based on international and distant indian practices the objective of the code of conduct is to guide the ssas to discharge their duty responsibility and diligently The COC is in addition to regulatory requirement prescribed by the SSC, social sector enterprise, or other regulatory bodies having jurisdiction over them. Important principles and values of our social auditing are listed below. First, integrity. Second, objectivity. 
थर्ड कॉन्फिडेंशियल फोर्थ प्रोफेशनल बिहेवियर नेक्स्ट प्रोफेशनल कॉम्पिटेशन ड्यू के इंडिपेंडेंस इंटीग्रिटी एम्प्लाई द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ ऑडिट इज राइट ट्रूथफुल एंड फेयर डीलिंग एंड ऑनेस्ट इट इज कोर वैल्यू फॉर द सोशल ऑडिटर सोशल ऑडिटर शुड नो डी बी एसोसिएट विद रिपोर्ट रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन अदर इन्फॉर्मेशन वेर यू बिलीव दैट द इन्फॉर्मेशन कंटेन से मेटेलिटी फॉल्स और मिसलीडिंग स्टेटमेंट हाई एथिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड आउट ऑफ ए स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ ऑडिट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ ऑडिट एम्प्लाइज दैट द एस एम विल नॉट कॉम्प्रोमाइज जजमेंट बेस्ड ऑन बिकॉज ऑफ बायस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट और अंडर एनी पर्सन और इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्फ्लुंस लॉस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव कैन बी डिटर्मिनेटेड टू द कंक्लूजन ऑफ सोशल ऑडिट कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी इम्प्लाइज दैट द इन्फॉर्मेशन विल नॉट बी डिस्कलोज टू अ थर्ड पार्टी ड्यूरिंग और आफ्टर द क्लोजर ऑफ ए प्रोफेशनल रिलेशनशिप एसेस टू और एनी अदर इन्फॉर्मेशन गैदर ड्यूरिंग द सोशल ऑडिट इज टू बी कंसिडर एज ए कॉन्फिडेंशियल इन्फॉर्मेशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम सर्टेन सर्कमस्टेंस इज लाइक डिस्कलोजर अंडर लॉ अटमोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी इज एक्सपेक्टेड ऑफ ए सोशल ऑडिटर professional behavior social auditor is expected to behave lawfully taking care so as not to discredit the profession it is expected that the essay has a pragmatic disposition having a broad perspective and able to understand complex operations professional competence and due care imply that the essay attains maintain and update professional competence in related technical professional and business domains independence implies independence in mind not being influenced in the professional judgment and appearance the violence of facts and circumstances that are so significant that a reasonable and informed third party will be likely to conclude that the auditor integrity objectivity of professional skepticism has been compromised certification requirement for social auditor financial auditor can qualify to be social auditor after they have successfully completed the exam by the NISM and receives a certificate of completion other individual desires of being social auditor may to have at least one eligibility criteria like post graduate from recognized university by the UGC with a minimum of 3 year of experience in the development sector <coughs> graduate from university recognized by UGC with a minimum of 6 years of experience in the development sector and cost of management accountant or any other person with suitable accreditation with a minimum of 6 years of experience in the development sector and with well, the last one or have check me dekhenge aap and and complete the nism certificate course mentioned above all social auditor will have to compile under the sro formed as a separate subsidiary that under the aegis of icai competencies and skill requirement for social auditor <laughs> first competencies are the auditor knowledge and behavior that lead them to be successful in a job the individuals managing the audit program should have the necessary competence to manage the program and is associated risk and opportunity and external and internal issue effectively and efficiently including knowledge of audit principles methods process for social audit management system standards other relevant standards and reference guiding documents social audit standards iso 26000 guidance on social responsibility ngrbc brsr to a name of you information regarding the auditory and its contact contacts that is external internal issues relevant interested parties and their needs and expectations business activities product service and process of the audit applicable statutory and regulatory requirement and other requirement relevant to the activities of audit social enterprise or <coughs> csr program as appropriate knowledge of risk management project and process management and information communication technology may be asked individual managing the audit program should engage in appropriate continuous development activity to maintain the necessary competence to manage the audit program skills are the specific learned abilities that you need to perform a given job first essential knowledge essential knowledge applicable to the domain especially the social audit standards thematic area it includes but it is not restricted to understanding the national law international conventions standard applicable to domain social studies standard that is 
competency of a through knowledge of the social development goals and niti ayog sdg index is necessary understanding national and regional law is essential to contextualize the project activity at the micro and macro levels auditing knowledge and skills compliance issue of the domain compliance issue in specific geographies stakeholder consultation methods social audit involves inclusion and feedback from various stakeholders the auditor should be aware of the different consultation method first interview focus group discussion sweat analysis etc auditor should be able to deduce the relevance and suitability of the consultation method or obtain in the impact report <coughs> effective communication ability to communicate effectively with the managers staff beneficiary government agency official is crucial a auditor must be a good listener and active listening is critical to the social audit process the ability to communicate clearly with all stakeholders in a appropriate language or de allocate will be applicable and <coughs> there will be an added advantage effective communication then interpersonal skills this will be enhanced by sensitivity to gender racial ethnic culture and social economical issues the auditor should be able to deal with people from different backgrounds and take clues from non verbal communication personal professional attributes includes a high code of conduct governed by law with solid ethics and integrity honesty trustworthiness and ability to remain independent from personal interests ability to make decision based on verifiable and material sources and verifiable evidence problem solving and analytical skills are very important these are the these are the information provided for the auditors auditor must be effective communication interpersonal skills personal professional attributes you know like skills they rakhe kya kya jo hai auditors ke paas honi chahiye essential knowledge honi chahiye ye the ability to make decisions honi chahiye problem solving technique honi chahiye analytical skills important empanelment for social auditor with SRO Institute of Social Auditor of India all SC standard auditor social auditor shall be empaneled with the SRO that is Institute of Social Auditor of India the empire person shall consider the following criteria experience of the individual firm institution in assuring non financial information with the individual firm institution social sector experience experience carrying a higher positive weight in such consideration number of partners employees meeting the criteria for being social auditor this may cases sanction against the individual firm institution would carry negative weight in such consideration with the advent of time more parameters will be considered for impairment that is size nature complexity and scale of operation of the funders project the position of the specific social sector enterprise nutrition education health water sanitization engineering conservation environment and climate change स्कोप ऑफ वर्क फॉर सोशल ऑडिटर वर्क स्कोप दे रखा है यहाँ पे सोशल ऑडिटर मैनेजिंग द ऑडिट प्रोग्राम शोल्ड कम्युनिकेट द रिलेवेंट पार्ट ऑफ द ऑडिट प्रोग्राम इंक्लूडिंग द रिस्क एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी इन्वॉल्व टू द रिलेवेंट इंटरेस्टेड पार्टी एंड फॉर्म दैम पे डिग्री ऑफ इट्स प्रोग्रेस यूजिंग स्टेब्लिश एक्सटर्नल एंड इंटरनल कम्युनिकेशन चैनल डिफाइन ऑब्जेक्टिव स्कोप एंड क्राइटेरिया फॉर ईच इंडिविजुअल ऑडिट सेलेक्ट ऑडिट मैथड audit method choose the method chosen for the audit depend upon the defined audit objective scope and criteria as well as duration and location there is may audit methods they rakhe hain human interactions hai on site remote pe location agar auditor ki on site hai to conducted interview completing checklist and questionnaire with the auditor participation conducted document review with auditor participation sampling agar remote audit hai तो इंटरेक्टिव कमीशन में कंडक्टेड इंटरव्यू थ्रू ऑनलाइन ऑब्जर्विंग वर्क परफॉर्म विद रिमोट गाइड कंप्लीटिंग चेकलिस्ट एंड क्वेश्चन सेम ही है बट वो ऑनलाइन और ऑफलाइन को तो उन्होंने अलग कर रखा है और ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन नहीं है तो कंडक्टेड डॉक्यूमेंट रिव्यू दैट इज रिकॉर्ड डेटा एनालिस ऑब्जर्विंग वर्क परफॉर्म कंडक्टेड ऑन साइट विजिट कंडक्टेड चेकलिस्ट सैम्पलिंग वही सेम और रिमोट साइड है तो कंडक्टेड डॉक्यूमेंट रिव्यू ऑब्जर्विंग वर्क परफॉर्म बाय सर्विलेंस मीन्स considering social and statutory and regulatory requirement and etc on site data activities are performed at the location of the auditor remote audit are the performed at any place other than the location of auditor 
interactive audit activity involves interaction between the audit personnel and the audit team non interactive audit activity involves no human interaction with the individual representing the audit but do involve interaction with equipment facility and documentation a fourth scope jo hai unka coordination aur ye jo beech mein humne online se kaha fir hum ab scope hi chal raha hai hamara audit method ke baad unhone jo hai on site off site ke do method bataye fourth coordinate and schedule audits and any other activity relevant to the audit program ensure the audit team have the necessary competence provide necessary individual and all resources to the audit teams ensure the conduct of audit in accordance with the audit program managing all operation risk opportunity and issue unexpected event as they arise during the deployment of program ensure relevant document information regarding the auditing activity is properly managed and maintained review the audit program in order to identify opportunity for its improvement assessing the demonstration of the social intent of the organization identify stakeholders and other the targeted beneficiaries alignment of the objective and goals with the niti ayog sdg india index and gwrbc guidelines assessment of implementation and review mechanism various variances between the intended and actual targets staff capacity development benchmarking key impact indicators internal or external assessment of the methodology of the data collection techniques research method desk review of existing documents review stakeholder response or to evaluate question in the impact report evaluate the subject matter information whether the evidence change are traceable to the intervention and how much could be happen irrespective of intervention and what are the unintended negative impact as a result of intervention and they are are they reported intervention ke dwara kya kisi ne agar evidence change hue hain usko jo hai kaise kaise report karna hai matlab unhe jo object hai ye apne scope hai scope of work mein andar koi bhi agar evidence change hua hai to usko kaise report kar rahe hain kaise uska record rakh rahe hain aur uska kya effect pad raha hai assessment of evaluation criteria the key impact indicator based on the subject matter information quantitative and qualitative evaluation criteria to be identified against which impact need to be mapped final assessment including the audit opinion prepare audit report in compliance with the social stop exchange social audit process social audit process from collecting information to reaching audit conclusion is as follow collection and verifying information information relevant to audit object scope criteria including information related to interface between functions for today process should be collected by means of appropriate sampling and should be verified as far as practicable audit evidence documentary audit evidence this consists of variety of documents gathered verified checked at the time of auditing it may include different type of reports and notes as it has to be required to be prepared oral communication interaction etc with various stakeholder of issue being audited all the oral communication must be noted down the auditor must note the inconsistency if any found during the course of oral discussion physical evidence is where the auditor inspect the assets and count them whenever required the evidence is collected wherever possible based on the nature of audit analytical the use of analytical procedure used to derive the required data or know the correctness of information obtained the conclusion here are based on comparison calculations relationship between various pieces of information derived by the auditor information documents acquired by social auditor the auditor must have access to all documentary evidence collected by the organization relevant to project public activity access to primary source of data on which the social impact report is based are crucial evidence the auditor must have access to first secondary data this data is readily available through a repository of information available with the organization the record data maintained by the organization as a part of their routine project activity are an example of secondary data data available in the public domain is also a secondary data if need be social auditor can obtain data from any public authority under rti a auditor should demand access to relevant secondary data which is material to the project to be audited 
Such exa some examples of secondary data are out of school children in a slum zone, amount and value of loan given to human in a microfinance program, monthly, oblique, quarterly, and six monthly reports maintained by the organization, case study reports, in text sheets of beneficiaries should be produced to the auditor on demand. Photo documentation, film clipping of events activity are also important as an evidence and should be made available to the auditors. Stakeholders are an integral part of social audit process. The auditor can also look into the documentary evidence used cited in the social impact report, such as a list of farmers with signature is one of the piece of evidence to ascertain that they were indeed consultated for the social impact consultation and any discrepancy during the farm must be noted out and should be further scrutinized. Primary data. This is obtained from first-hand resources and need to be included in the impact report. Key stakeholders from the organization and beneficiaries should be consulted, consulted, interviews, questionnaire, focus group discussion, survey are firm examples of primary source of data. Source of primary data collected should be maintained in a form that can be retrieved by the auditor during audit trial. Auditor need to use appropriate techniques and sample size to ensure reliability, accuracy, and validity of information collected to derive evidence conclusions. Depending on the nature of social or project, a combination of probabilistic, probabilistic sampling method, simple random systematic cluster and study where there is a different type of sampling method or non-probabilistic method like court or judgment test no what can be used to collect evidence. Evaluation of misstatement identified during the audit and evidence for the same. Audited financial statement of organization and audited finalization certificate of the project. Evidence building. The social editor should plan and perform a social audit with the attitude of professional skeptic <coughs> to obtain social appropriate evidence of the implementation of the social program in the field. Following are the points to be considered while building evidence. When designing and performing procedure, the practitioner should also need to consider the relevance and reliability of information to be used as evidence. If evidence obtained from one source is inconsistent with that obtained from other, the social editor has doubt about the reliability of information to be used as an evidence. The social editor should accumulate Social editor should determine that what changes or addition to the procedure are necessary to resolve the matter and should consider the effect of the matter, if any, on the other aspect of the engagement. The social editor should accumulate unconnected misstatements identified during the engagement other than those that are clearly trivial, trivial and determine the effect of the misstatement on the assurance report. The social auditor should request from the appropriate party a written representation that it has provided the social auditor with the all information of which the appropriate party is aware that is relevant to the engagement. Third party confirmation. This is for third party confirmation as per the normal financial audit. Confirming the measurement and evaluation of the underlying subject matter. Against the applicable criteria, including all relevant matters are reflected in the subject matter information. If, in addition to the required representation, the social auditor determines that it is necessary to obtain one or more written representation to the support other evidence relevant to the subject matter information, the social auditor should request such other written representations. <coughs> when written representation relates to the matter that the material to the subject matter information, the social auditor should evaluate written representation ke matter ke mein hai, evaluate the reasonableness and consistency with other evidence obtained including other representation oral or written and consider whether those making the representation can be expected to be well informed on the particular matters. Third, <coughs> the date of the written representation should be as near as practicable to but not after the date of assurance report. Description of applicable criteria the social auditor would need to evaluate 
whether the subject matter information adequately refers to or describe the applicable criteria the description of the applicable criteria advises in intended uses or just of the framework on which the subject matter information is based and is particularly important when there are significant differences between various criteria regarding how particular matters may be treated in the subject matter informations characteristics of audit evidence competency signifying the reliability of an audit evidence if the social auditor is unable to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence <coughs> scope limitation exists and the social auditor should express a qualified opinion of the conclusion or disclaimer of opinion of the conclusion or withdraw from engagement where withdrawal is possible under applicable law or regulation as per appropriate relevance mean pertinence of the information to provide an opinion the social auditor should evaluate the sufficiency and appropriateness of evidence obtained in the context of engagement and if necessary in the circumstances attempt to obtain further evidence the social auditor should consider all relevant evidence regardless of whether it appears to be corroborate or to contradict the measurement or evaluate of the underlying subject matter against the applicable criteria <coughs> if the practitioner is unable to obtain sufficient and appropriate evidence social auditor must consider the implication for the social auditor opinions conclusion sufficiency describe whether the information obtained is enough to provide a opinion judgment or conclusion the social auditor should form an opinion conclusion about whether the subject matter information free from material misstatement in forming opinion auditor should consider the conclusion regarding the sufficiency and appropriateness of evidence obtained and evaluation of whether uncorrected misstatement are material in injury or in aggregate <coughs> if the social auditor is unable to obtain sufficient and appropriate evidence a scope limitation exists social auditor should express a qualified opinion conclusion or disclaimer in opinion or withdraw from the engagement where withdrawal is possible under applicable law or regulation as appropriate audit conclusion review the social audit finding and other appropriate information in the course of audit against the audit object which are available agree on the audit conclusion taking into account the unnecessary in hand in the audit process prepare recommendation if is specified by the audit plan discuss audit follow up as applicable content of audit conclusion audit conclusion should add issue <coughs> should address issues such as the following extent of conformity with the social audit criteria achievement of audit objective coverage of audit scope and fulfillment of audit criteria if specified by the audit plan audit conclusion can lead to recommendation for the improvement or future find auditing activity two audit opinion can be made by social auditor based on the assessment of the audit based on the assessment of the social impact as follows unqualified opinion or unmodified opinion as you know the clean report this implies there is no material mismanagement there is sufficient and appropriate audit evidence obtained in reference to evaluation criteria applied for the impact assignment qualified opinion or modified opinion is given where the when the auditor is unable to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence or as a whole the impact report is not free from material mismanagement accounting system and internal control while performing the social auditor audit the auditor should obtain basic understanding of accounting system by obtaining and reading the following document accounting manual चार्ट ऑफ अकाउंट्स कौन कौन से चार्ट उन्होंने अकाउंट मेंटेन कर रहे हैं अकाउंटिंग मैनुअल्स में डिस्क्रिप्शन क्या है अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम का पॉलिसी क्या है क्या प्रोसीजर फॉलो कर रहे हैं इनकम एक्सपेंडिचर बना रहे हैं कैश फ्लो बना रहे हैं कैश बैंक बना रहे हैं फिक्स एसेस बना रहे हैं कॉस्ट सेंटर क्या क्या है डिटेल ऑफ लिस्ट ऑफ कॉस्ट सेंटर कोर्ट एंटर इन सिस्टम टू अडेंटिफाई द कॉस्ट सेंटर रिलेटेड टू वेरी स्पेसिफिक ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट डेलीगेशन ऑफ अथॉरिटी मैट्रिक्स दिस मैट्रिक्स कंटेन द डिटेल ऑफ रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिव ऑफ ईच लेवल टू इंश्योर स्मूथ फंक्शनिंग एंड अप्रूवल ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन बाय द अथोराइज पर्सन विद इन दर्ल्ड कि कौन ट्रांजेक्शन को अप्रूव कर रहा है कौन ट्रांजेक्शन कर रहा है उसकी जो है पॉलिसी चेक करनी है और वो चेक करना है अकाउंटिंग में कैसे फॉलो हो रहा है और आई टी के कंट्रोल मैनुअल्स चेक करने हैं 
it contains the detail regarding the IT controls in the relation to accounting and systems such as access control, physical and environmental security, logical security, backup and recovery procedures which are followed by the auditors. Social audit report. The social audit team leader should report the audit conclusion in accordance with the audit program. Audit report should provide a complete, accurate, concise and clear record of the audit and should include or refer the following. Title that clearly indicates the auditor report is an independent audit report. Social audit report is ordinarily addressed to the engaging party but in some cases there may be some other party who are who appoint the auditor for the audit. Audit objects, auditor scope, identification of the auditory, function of the process auditor, identification of the audit client, identification of audit team, audit participation in the audit dates and location where the audit activities are conducted, audit criteria, audit finding and related evidence, audit conclusion, statement on the degree to which the audit criteria have been fulfilled, unresolved diverging opinion between the audit team and audit team. Audit report can also include the following as appropriate audit plan including the time schedule, summary of the audit process, including any obstacles encountered that may decrease the reliability of audit conclusion, confirmation that the audit objective have been achieved within the audit scope in accordance with the audit plan, and areas within the audit scope not covered including any issues of availability of evidence, resources and confidentially with latest justification, summary covering the audit conclusion and main audit findings that support them, good practice identification, agreed action plan follow up if any statement of the con confidential nature of content. Any implication for the audit program or subsequent audits, a statement that the engagement are performed in accordance with standards of audit, assess framework or any other framework as applicable, a statement that the social auditor complies with the independence and other ethical requirement of code of content applicable to social audit issued by the self-regulatory organization of the same. Challenges Can get challenges relating to social audit? Social audit happens in a dynamic, multi-dimension as an interconnected framework. The following highlight the challenges related to social auditing. Capturing softer data can be challenging while capturing the social impact. Example, confidence, self-esteem, sense of agency. Social auditor should ascertain that the AIR has been used a problem method to capture outcomes for such indicators. It can be addressed by using proxy indicators, PASA scale or narrative numeracy method. Social auditor need to be skilled or knowledgeable to trace the materiality of data to the impact indicator reported. <coughs> Capturing social and economical impact is a tough task. Organization will need refined documentation tool and data analytic method to arrive at the conclusion. Lack of appropriate indicators which are traceable might be a challenge. This can be mitigated by thinking through data needs that need to be captured while at the project design stage. Hiring the service of a qualified professional may assist. The social auditor need to be well versed while reporting framework tools for the same. Traceability of ascertained stakeholder groups, that is an intervention for adult learners, nomads may be difficult. Primary evidence or trial for such group will be an impediment. Access to appropriate data in a user-friendly manner is necessary to draw conclusion. Organization may hide, withhold data that may be counterintuitive. Overclaiming of impact needs to be addressed, assigning roles to intervening variables, capturing qualified of life indicators by stockholders and using that big can avoid overclaiming. Multi-dimensional projects implementation will have convergence of sector. A district state rule health intervention will have convergence of sanitation, nutrition, behavior change communication, primary health service, etc. Social audit of the complexity and scale will make the social audit process lengthy and cumbersome. This may pose a challenge to the rigors of audit. <coughs> Lack of 
social auditors who are equipped to conduct audit as per social audit standard which are ranked to social development goals. It may be challenged to have accredited social auditor and expert in all thematic sectors. Now, we have a question. First question is Which of the following is not a feature of social audit? First, what is the question? Evaluating the impact cost of the society by the organization, issuing an opinion on the state of financial finances, no being a multi perspective in nature, nahin. adopting the triple bottom line approach. The second point is that the final social audit ka part is not. Second, both quantity and quality indicators are important in case of social audit. Yes, right. Fine. Social audit means quantity and quality are important. Third, this is the rational method for reaching reliable and reproducible audit conclusion in a systematic audit process. Fair presentation due professional risk based on evidence based approach. Evidence based approach, the third point ka third hai, is a rational method for reaching reliable and reproducible audit conclusion in a systematic audit process. Fourth, <coughs> having which of the following implies that a social auditor attains, maintain, update professional competence and related technical professional and domains professional competence and due careers third point is going answer over thank you friends yahan pe hamara chapter jo hai end ka end hota hai next chapter ke liye hum jaldi milte hain agar aapko mera jo hai video pasand aayi can please like subscribe my youtube channel thank you